Idaho, serving Stein. Oh. Yes, it's Alan. Did you forget I was here? Well, well, what are you doing awake at this hour? I guess I'm still on East Coast time. Well, sorry, but it's, uh, it's the middle of the night for me. Listen, since we're both awake, maybe we could find some way to occupy our time. Well, as long as I'm awake, I might as well take a shower. Well, feeling better? Yeah, pretty good, as a matter of fact. Good. I managed to negotiate the shower without once looking at myself in the mirror. I'm getting pretty good at that. Brushing my teeth is a little tricky, but certainly is worth the effort. There's nothing worse than a bird's eye view of a ravaged body to sour your day before it's even begun. Is that the latest version of survival humor? Whatever gets you through, right? Listen to me. You have never looked more beautiful than you do to me at this moment. Now, come on. I don't need any molly coddling. I'm telling you the truth. And I don't need to be patronized. Okay, Monica. Enough is enough. I want you to stop this. Do you have any idea how hard it is to be shut out like this? Do you have any idea how hard it is to live with cancer? I am living with it. I see you are listening in therapy. If I don't have a full appreciation of what you're going through, Monica, it's because you won't let me learn. I know I'm not the one with the disease. I'm only the second banana. But it's not fun being pushed aside like this. You're starting to act as if you're allergic to me. None of this is any fun, Alan. And no, I'm not allergic to you. I just don't feel like sharing every disgusting detail. And what if I do? Do you know that I feel like a pig for even voicing these feelings? But I have them. Okay. Okay, fine. Then let's hear them. Come on, let's hear them. I miss you. I'm alone. And I'm sad. You ask me to come down here. And then you hide behind dinner with friends. And you send me off to husband's therapy groups. Anything you can do to avoid me. And now you're avoiding my efforts to get through to you in the last way I know how. Do you honestly expect me to be in the mood at this point? Why not? No matter what's ever gone on between us, Monica. No matter how angry we've been with each other. No matter how much distance there's been between the two of us. We've always been able to make love. And when we did, it was good, Monica. It was better than good. All those days are over. What? I don't accept that. The situation has changed. It's all different. The rules are different now. Why? You tell me why the situation is different. Oh, please. No, I want to know. It's a problem, Monica. It's a big problem, but it's our problem. I want to know why we can't face it together. You want to face it? Oh, let's face it together. Here, face this. Can you honestly say this is sexy? Go ahead, get an eyeful. You think this is a pretty sight? You want to look at it in the mirror every single morning? It's not as if I haven't seen it before, Monica. The mastectomy scar is healing. So is the secondary incision. There is some superficial trauma where you have radiation. But that'll heal in time. Now, now who is avoiding? 
I am not your patient, Dr. Quartermain. I'm your wife. Do you want to go to bed with this? I'd love to. Liar. You have some scar tissue, Monica, where there used to be a breast. Big deal. It is a very big deal. You know, it's a big deal. Wondering whether I'm going to lose you. That's a big deal. It scares the hell out of me. It takes up all my energy. I can't waste time worrying about a breast, Monica. You see, I'm too busy worrying about a life. You think I lie awake nights alone in our bed wondering what it would be like to make love to you without a breast? No. I lay there, frozen in terror, wondering what my life would be like without you. Wondering how the hell I would get through the next day. Wondering what it would be like to see our sons get married and have children, and you weren't there at my side. What do I have to do to make you believe that it's not your breast I'm missing? It's you. I can love you exactly as you are, Monica. I just don't want to live without you. <laughs> 